Hello everyone, uh, today I'll be focusing on step functions from Amazon Web Services. Okay, so what are step functions? Uh, basically, step functions are services, service is a service provided by Amazon so that we can execute certain small flows. Say, for example, uh, if, if you want to send an email to an user. Uh, okay and uh, so what we can do is we can write the uh, we can write the code of sending an email inside a lambda and uh, call that lambda function inside the step function and instead uh, and just simply call the step functions from our code uh, maybe java code or some other big project so that uh, that mails uh, mail sending flow I'm telling uh, uh, mail sending flow can be taken care by step function itself. I'm talking. I'm I'm insisting on f mail sending flow is because say for example uh, after sending an email, you want an uh, SMS to be sent to the user, or maybe an acknowledgement that this mail has been sent to you on this day. Maybe some um something like that so for that uh, say we have uh say i have created a use case for that case for that reason uh, let me show you yep yes say uh, I, this is the flow where lambda 1 is responsible for sending an email and lambda 2 is responsible for sending an sms so if i call this step function from our java code say yep see, this is uh, f to call a step function we need uh, we need a credentials object which uh, which access uh, accepts access key secret key region okay and uh, we create an SF, F, sfn client which takes credentials then region and uh, we need an execute object which takes json input uh, for for the timing this is the input and uh, it the execution name which uh, which is basically this parameter this parameter which is generated using the uiid in 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 in, in our case and uh, it takes the arn of the state function okay after that the result is uh, after that we, we call the start execution method and it it executes the step function so basically uh, the, the this use case is where I need to send an email and then an SMS and after that uh, the response which we get from these two is in in is is the input for lambda 3 and what lambda 3 does is it takes the both the responses and uh, do a database operation like updating in the DB that this user has the email or SMS has been sent to this user or some other purpose which is decoupled from these two like lambda one is only responsible for sending email this is only responsible for sending sms and this is only responsible for updating some data in the database this is one of the use case which where step functions is is handy and uh, we have one more use case where uh, where say i want to send an yes, email from a project to my customers so for that we have two lambdas first lambda is used to replace all the temp uh, all the vari variables in the email template say we have a template which has uh, username customer name variables these variables so in lambda one what we are doing is replacing those templates and generating the actual email template email for for a particular customer and that email is being sent using lambda 2 so this this step a step, step function or state machine is responsible for sending email after replacing the template with the variable okay so there are many types of many types of states uh, 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 wait Pass state, task, choice, wait, 
succeed fail parallel and map the important ones are pass uh, not not pass task choice parallel and map these four these four five states are handy when it comes to creating a flow for a for a uh, for a for a use cases so and uh, like there are there are many uh, reference uh, this this site uh, explains how amazon state language is used and how what are the correct syntax to use each of the states and how to like uh, how to play around with the input for each step each state and uh, the response how to modify the response from the uh, response uh, from yeah how to modify the response from each state as well so in this case this this has been processed uh, let me check the input for step uh, for lambda 1 so for this case if i click on step input it shows that uh, this is a variable and this is the message this is this is a key value pair which has been set as an input and the corresponding output is message then task result then message and flag let me explain this my input was only this part and in output i am getting this as an extra part let me show you the code of this lambda lambda so what happens is this is my input okay and uh, this is my response object inside response object i am passing message and flag as 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 custom variables from this lambda itself so and you can see i am returning this so basically a uh, json object which, which will have message and flag will be returned from this lambda and uh, with I'll, I'll go i'll go into the code first of the state machine yes and uh, dollar dot task result task result is basically name of a variable which we assign to the to the value returned from this lambda uh, say the lamb the lamb uh, as we can see the lambda returned this lambda returned message and flag as an object json object which has and uh, that has been assigned to a variable called task result because we have mapped this task result to the result from the resource which we will get okay and uh, similarly for second lambda as well and uh, this dollar variable signify signifies that whatever input is being received at uh, received that will that will be passed as the input to this resource okay and this is this is uh, this is a code for uh, for a series of a series of tasks type states where lambda 1 is the starting one and lambda 2 is the end next one see we have next and end in case of next it will go to in the next state in case of end it will end over there uh, let, let's go to the parallel one in case of parallel execution let me edit the code first it starts at parallel 1 parallel 1 is a state and uh, it has it is uh, it it ends at it ends over here after that we have lambda 3 then we have nothing so let me explain uh, inside parallel parallel block is in uh, parallel one we have branches branches can consist of uh, another states block say we can we, we have lambda 1 as a state then lambda 2 as another state okay and after lambda 1 uh, like there is end it's the end so lambda 1 we don't have anything else after lambda 1 and similarly for lambda 2 also the, uh, the, the there is an end end equals to true so for that also we don't have anything else but collectively after that we have after this like parallel state this parallel state we have another state called 
uh, inside that parallel state we have next equals to lambda 3 so it will go to lambda 3 that's why we have another lambda 3 after this parallel parallel state uh, here also the input input and what happens in parallel state is that uh, say lambda 1 returns some response and lambda 2 returns another response so th those two response are combined into an array list say lambda 1 returned abc 1 lambda 2 returned say abc 2 so the collective input for third lambda will be obviously The advantage of this is that we are getting the response from both the lambdas, or maybe if uh, yeah, both the lambdas. Uh, so we can uh, first of all, AWS assures assures that lambda one and lambda two are executed. Execution is done. Then only we go to lambda three, and secondly, we inside our lambda three code can uh, can validate whether both both the lambdas have returned the desired response or not I have done that over here see uh, response from lambda 1 at the 0th position I'll get it I'll get it as a map and the first position I'll get uh, this as a map for lambda 2 and uh, there's a flag variable I am checking that whether these flags are true or not these variables are coming from lambda 1 and lambda 2 respectively and if that is the case then I am from lambda 3 lambda 1 and 2 have passed successfully this is the message which I am passing which will be reflect which will reflect in la lambda 3 processing I'll show you the response from lambda 3 see I am from lambda 3 lambda 2 and passed successfully I'll share the code in github and link and share the link in in the description okay for for uh, I'll come up with more videos uh, so that uh, everything is clear from um, everything gets clear easily for at least for step functions okay uh, and also to understand it a bit more you please go through all this this explains how the step function works and the important one is map map state I'll come up with a video with map state as well thank you